Hello everyone. In this short video, we will discuss about office hysteroscopy. Office hysteroscopy basically means doing hysteroscopy in OPD procedure. And this talk is intended for family physicians, physicians and non-gynecologist friends and maybe for first year postgraduates. We all know hystero means uterus and scopy means seeing. Now it is examination of the vagina, cervix and uterus using a very thin scope with a distension media of normal saline. We need to have a very good camera, a distension machine which is called hysteromat and a good telescope. Now indications for hysteroscopy is ever expanding from infertility to menorrhagia to uterine adhesions or recurrent pregnancy loss or lost IUCDs. Now patient doesn't get admitted here, they come and OPD procedure, no anesthesia is required and they walk in with maybe full stomach and they go out. The cost is very very low. Patients with a polyps previously they used to undergo either DNC, repeated DNC or they would eventually end up with hysterectomy for menorrhagia. Whereas now with the office hysteroscopy you can remove it and relief is quick and everlasting. Now infertility evaluation is incomplete without hysteroscopic evaluation. Now we can see the cavity, we see is there any infection, sometimes polyp or is there any cavitary abnormalities within the uterus. Now intrauterine adhesions which is very typical of uh, endometritis or sometimes cox infection can be evaluated on OPD basis. This video which you are seeing is basically of uh, tuberculosis. Small septums can be removed without anesthesia. However, large septums do require anesthesia because the pain may be intense. Such small septums where the tissue is fibrotic, patient do will have little pricking pain but they do cooperate to remove these small septums. So, if you detect a small septum on uh, office procedure, we usually just cut it. Now, retain products of conception or incomplete abortion. Previously, women used to undergo repeated uh, DNCs and they will continue to have bleeding. Now, we just have to remove under, under uh, office procedure. Tubal cannulations can also be done where you suspect a tubal block on HSG. This can be done even without anesthesia. But if you want to do laparoscopic confirmation, of course, you need uh, anesthesia. Cervical crypt resection, this is a new concept which is propagated by Dr. Harish Vagasya, a good friend of mine. Now, this crypt sometimes obstruct the cervical canal and you see that HSG cannot be done or IUI cannot be done. Such crypts can be removed on OPD procedure with a thin resectoscope. You need to have a special resectoscope for this. Cervix is insensitive for sharp cutting, so they will cooperate. Now, nowadays with the uh, lot of push for PPIUCD, lot of women are coming with a uh, lost IUCD and the uh, thread will not be seen and everybody will try doing a DNC or under anesthesia. However, we can remove it under office procedure without much problems. There are some contraindications of course, like if you suspect a pregnancy or if you suspect a infection or malignancy. This is a short video. Do follow us on YouTube for uh, more videos like this. Please do share with your friends. Thank you.